My name is Mary Greenwell, I'm doing videos for Get the Gloss and I'm going to do a Halloween look on this gorgeous face of Annabeth's. So this is not fancy dress Halloween makeup, it's really beautiful, it's like bewitched makeup. First of all I'm putting on the moisturiser, which is the Hyder Beauty Cream to hydrate the skin. You know, by this time of year, you know, end of October, it's getting probably getting quite chilly. So you want to make sure your skin is well hydrated before you go out and party all night long. I'm going to use a little bit of eye gel. So I'm, because I want that female sort of Halloween, I want to actually whiten down her skin a little bit. It's called Le Blanc de Chanel. You can see it's amazing. It also has a bit of shimmer in it, it's just great. It just really lifts the skin. So even with this one illuminating base, it looks amazing, but I'm actually going to even out her skin tone a little bit, but I'm going to use a very, very, very light foundation, and that's called the All-in-One Healthy Glow Fluid Foundation. It's amazing. This is great. But as you can see, it doesn't mask the skin at all. So now I'm going to use a concealer. Um, this is my iconic product from Chanel. I simply love it and use it under the eyes. Smooth it out. That's what this one is for. It's so good. Smooth it out. Great. I'm taking it down around the nose, patting it in. Now we're going to move on to the eyes. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different. This is, you know, this is meant to be party, fun, Halloween makeup. So it's not necessarily something you would wear every day, but it's certainly something you can enjoy to wear. Taking this palette, which is fabulous, it's called Tisse Cambon. So I'm going to take this beautiful soft beige colour, shimmery beige. Such a great colour. I love the Chanel pigments because they're so shimmery and beautiful. And down here and up through here, out to the side. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pink in the palette and I'm going to put that all over the lid. We're going to build up with quite a few colours on this. This isn't, isn't going to be just, you know, one palette. I'm going to use other colours as well. Now, with the dark, what colour is this? It's like, it's like a dark purple brown. It's really beautiful. It's like an orchid, actually. It's like an orchid colour. This one. So I'm going to use this on the lid too. So actually what I'm doing is I'm layering. I'm layering over the pink, so the pink would have given it just a little bit more warmth than without it. What a great purple that is that it's become because of the pink underneath, you can see. Right, same colour, dark, the dark purple, purple brown, look up. I'm going to go way, but low underneath this time, low. So now I'm moving on to another colour. The colour I'm picking up now is it's a very dark purple. It's got more it's got more black in it, but it still has a purple base, okay? So this is the colour here. This is it, this is the colour. And it's called Pulsion. Now, go along with my favourite little brush. I'm just going to go through here. And I'm going to take this on the roots of the lashes. So you can really see the smokiness building up now.
right, so now I'm going to take, these are these wonderful colours by Chanel. These are the, um, these are called Illusion d'Ambre and they come in the most amazing colours. This is the black, okay, so I'm going to use this as a really intense colour black on the eyes. to this goldy yellow which is kind of a fabulous colour. It's called um, Admiration number 114 in the Armour Essential range and it's just going to add that little sort of weird pop. So you know but you can see by building colours things change. Every colour you put on means something's changing and that's the wonderful thing about makeup. You know, you can change things just by adding one colour. Now this has become a kind of amazing emerald green. Who would have thought? It's kind of getting halloween isn't it? Okay, look up. I'm going to put the same gold, look up my darling, underneath here. And really smudge it down. next mood to intensify this gorgeous mysterious look I'm going to use black pencil very solid black pencil in the roots of the lashes and the watermark on the lashes this is great this pencil is called um, Noir Intense Stilo Your water Waterproof it's um, long lasting eyeliner Noir Intense so as I said it's a very dark rich black and it's waterproof which is fantastic Now I'm going to put the same black pencil on the waterline on the inside of the top lid, the right in the roots of the lashes and on the inside. And I'm just going to go for the roots, I'm not going to touch the top at all, just the roots. Okay? I do not want her to look like she has mascara on. So that's just extended the eye without making it look mascara-like. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to check the brows. You know, Chanel were the first people to bring out this wonderful, really dark lipstick called Rouge Noir. It's something I want to use again now because it is so of the moment. So I'm going to use the lip liner which works with it to define the mouth. The lip liner I'm going to use is number 96, which is perfect with Rouge Noir lipstick. This is kind of the look done, but I'm just going to do my th what I always do. I'm just going to do the T-zone thing just to knock back the shine where I, do, where I personally don't like it. And also, there's no blush, there's no bronzer, there's nothing. It's all about the mouth and the eye. So here we have um, sort of the modern Halloween. The now Halloween, my Halloween. There it is. 